Hello friends, it's Christy Marcott. It's time for a new card challenge. The theme is Make It Sparkle. Create a card and include something that adds some beautiful sparkle or shine. For my card, I'm using some leftovers from the December 2019 Love From Lizzie kit. I had used up most of the paper, although I still have a bunch of ephemera and stickers. I decided this would be perfect to use for my sparkle card. For most of my card challenges, I'm trying to use product that I already have. I've already gone ahead and cut out all of the pieces just to save on time. I'm using one of the cut aparts that was included in the kit. It has this beautiful rose gold foiling to it. And the sentiment is, this is our happy place. For the background piece, this also has that rose gold and then this fun geometric pattern. I'm adding two strips of pattern paper across the lower portion of the card. It's hard to see, but that rust, kind of a reddish color, has a tone-on-tone -tone design on it. And the green is actually solid, but it was the opposite side of some of the pattern paper. So I layered the two pieces together. And now to add a little bit of shine, I'm using some of Love From Lizzie peel off stickers. This is, I believe the racing green mirror color. And this is in the pinstripe style. I'm just putting one on the edge of that reddish paper. And I'm leaving a little extra on the end and I'll just tuck that behind the panel just to make sure that it's not gonna pop off later on the card. Now here comes my beautiful sparkle. I'm using this lovely rose gold glitter cardstock. And I used a rectangle die to cut out the center so I could use that piece on another card later on. But now since it has that large rectangle cut out, I'm gonna add another piece just using some scrap white cardstock. That way it stays nice and level and there won't be that noticeable dip. To adhere this panel to the glitter cardstock, I did put a little bit of ATG in the middle, but on the outside, I used my art glitter glue. It's the only thing that's really going to hold this paper to that glitter cardstock. Next, I'll adhere my sentiment panel, and I said I'm going to pop this up using some foam dimensional tape. So I just cut a bunch of small pieces, and I make sure to get good coverage. I don't want one side to sag at all. So once I remove the backing, I can adhere it to my card and I'm putting it to the lower right hand corner. And now for some embellishment, I'm using the wooden dots that were included in the December kit, but I wanna add some sparkle and shine. I pulled out my set of Fine Tech Pearl Color watercolor paints. They have this really lovely shimmer to them. The color I decided to use is called Shining Pink. I just add a little bit of water to my mat and then wet the paint. And then I'm going to paint five of the wooden dots. It's hard to see, but it does have this beautiful shimmer. After I let that first coat of paint dry, I did go back and add a second coat. So then I let that dry. And then I'm gonna add even more sparkle. I pulled out Lawn Fawn's Liquid Stardust. So I just squirt a little bit on top of each of those wooden dots, and then I'm using my paintbrush to spread it around. So now it has a super sparkly look to it. So after I've let those dry, I can start adding them to my card. And these are really nice since they already have some adhesive on the backside. And it is super sticky. So I'm going to put three of the dots in the upper left-hand corner, and then I'll put two of them in the lower right-hand corner on that sentiment panel. Put one of them in the center of the pink flower. And on a couple of the pieces, I noticed the foam was sticking out just a little bit. So I'm just using my fingernail and tucking it back under. Next, I pulled out my Nouveau Shimmer Pen. This is in the clear gloss color. And I'm just adding it to all of the leaves on this sentiment panel. Just look at all that beautiful sparkle and shine. But I decided to add just a little bit more. I'm using Nouveau Glitter Drops in the yellow bird color and just adding it to the center of all of the pink flowers. 
And there is my finished card. I love the beautiful colors in this paper collection. If you'd like to join me for my card challenge, you can head over to my Instagram or my Facebook page. I have the links provided in the description box. If you're on Instagram, make sure to use the hashtag Christie's Card Challenge so I can see your entry. There is no time frame for the challenge, just play along when you have a chance. I've been doing these card challenges now for several months, and I'm just curious, is this something you want me to continue, or is everybody kind of done with it for the moment, we can just put it on hold? Just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.